ALS, also called Lou Gehrig disease after the famous baseball player who died of it, is a neurodegenerative disease which causes healthy, completely functioning people to become gradually paralyzed over a few short years and leads ultimately to death within three to five years of diagnosis. This disease is caused due to the death of motor neurons, the neurons which send commands from our brain to our muscles in order to activate them. Prime C, Neurosense Therapeutics' novel drug, aims to target two important pathological pathways in order to slow or even halt progression of this awful disease. Prime C has been tested in two separate zebrafish ALS models. These fish are an amazing model. Since they are vertebrates, they have over 70% similarity to human genes, and they share the same brain structures and cell types with us, including the blood-brain barrier, which is important for drug discovery. They are also transparent, which helps researchers image their motor neurons, as well as other cells. Lastly, they are large in numbers, so we can test many of them in each study, which adds a high statistical value to the research. Neurosense conducted two separate studies in two different labs with two distinct ALS model fish. One was an SOD1 mutant transgenic fish, and the other was in fish injected with TDP43 RNA. Both are ALS-causing mutations, each with a different pathway. The first study was conducted in the Dead Sea and Arava Science Center under the auspices of Ben Gurion University in Israel. This lab has been testing hundreds of potential therapeutic molecules on ALS SOD1 zebrafish for the past five years to no avail, until Prime C was introduced. The ALS fish showed low swimming abilities, but once they were treated with Prime C, there was an elevation of over 80% in their swimming capabilities. This is a remarkable result and is significantly better than any other outcome the lab has ever seen. Further studies were conducted in the lab, analyzing motor neurons, neuromuscular junctions, and aspects of the immune system in the ALS fish treated with Prime C. They all indicated that Prime C is a neuroprotector. In order to validate these results and test them in another ALS fish model, Neurosense then conducted a second study in a lab at McGill University in Montreal, Canada. This lab tests potential therapeutic molecules on zebrafish injected with a TDP43 mutated gene, causing them to have ALS. These fish also presented low swimming capabilities, but once treated with Prime C, they showed an improvement of about 45% in their swimming velocity and over 110% improvement in the distance they were able to swim. Their swimming patterns were similar to the healthy fish as opposed to the sick ones. So now that we have results from two separate studies on two different corners of the globe in two different types of ALS fish, Neurosense is spearheading the clinical phase, initiating a compassionate study in the U.S. while preparing to begin a phase two clinical study in ALS patients to show its efficacy in humans and to make efforts to help the hundreds of thousands of patients around the world.